Hello everyone, Susli Gaming here and welcome back to another Hell Let Loose episode. Update 9 is out. Let's check out the new stuff. So I'm gonna talk about important changes. If you wanna read all the update log with details, link will be in the description. All right, starting with knives and shovels, we finally have melee combat and Hell Let Loose. That means even if you run out of ammo, you'll be still dangerous. Germans are getting shovel, Americans are getting knife. Both of them can one-tap the enemy, no matter which body part you hit. Currently there is no special animation for it, it's just a simple swing without combo. All rows are getting melee weapon. By the way, we did a test to see if shovel can deflect bullets, because you know, in PUBG you can actually deflect bullets with the frying pan. Unfortunately, meat is busted, you cannot deflect bullets with the shovel. So don't try it in a battlefield. <laughs> Utah offensive map. It will basically be the opposite of the Omaha Beach offensive. Americans are defensive and Germans are attacking force. I managed to play one game in this game mode and I will tell you, it is quite relaxing. It's like a purple heart lane. But you have more visibility and the tone of the map is just satisfying to the eyes. No longer you're able to jump over the barbed wire. As soon as you get into it, your character will slow down. And eventually, as you go further into the wire, it will stop you. Just like a wall with slowing effect. It's not damaging though. Every vehicle can go through this bob wire, so don't be afraid driving through them. We have a new weapon in the game, MG34. It belongs to the level 3 German machine gunner. And at level 6, we're unlocking the good old MG42. Unfortunately, just like in the clip you see in here, the firing duration is actually much shorter than the MG42. If both of the machine guns are holding the mouse, MG42 will fire for much longer period of time, which is quite surprising because MG34 has lower fire rate, so there will be constant reloading. Spectator camera. For now, this will be only available to the server admins. You can switch between players, you can fly around, for some cinematic shots and detect cheaters or rule breakers much easily. It will also ease the job of eSport commentators when clans are fighting between each other. And I hope this spectator camera will be available to the public in future updates. That's all the new stuff and now meta changes. Mines no longer instantly destroy the following tanks. Tiger, Panther, Sherman 76, Sherman 75. That's a bad news for AT players. Tank MG build has been increased from 100 to 200 rounds. Bombing runs and artillery from now on can damage the tanks by only direct hits. Some mobility upgrade to Panzer III and Stuart. Building garrison in neutral sector is no longer possible. Capturing a strong point on offensive maps now takes 60 seconds. Attacker garrisons placed in enemy active sectors on offensive now takes 5 seconds to dismantle for the defending forces. Disable the HQ spawn if enemy is capturing that HQ sector on offensive. Here is the important one. Garrisons can now be placed in the first column of enemy sectors for 100 supplies. These are called forward garrisons. Standard garrison requires 50. They kinda try to restore the old garrison mechanics here. It's quite acceptable. Forward garrisons disabled if enemy is closer than 100 meters. So with this change, forward garrisons can be used as radar. If on the map you see that garrison changed its color to red, that means enemy is close to it less than 100 meters. You can detect flankers on the map. Kinda broken if you're gonna ask me. But yeah, whatever, we're gonna get used to it. Garrisons placed in friendly sectors still cost 50 supplies. An enemy needs to be within 15 meters of radius of the garrison to disable it. Remove the 20 second cooldown for disabling garrison and airheads. Airheads now remain for 3 minutes, allowing for 6 spawn waves. If sector is lost, friendly nodes in the lost sector are destroyed. That is another important change. Uh, and I think it's a good change because before engineers are separating from the squad at the beginning of the match, uh, going somewhere to the edge of the map, uh, hiding the nodes where enemy cannot find them. That was just basically 
non-stop supply for the team now this change will reduce that kind of gameplay and will make engineers more active in the battlefield the engineer can build max 12 nodes per team. Engineers can no longer build the same nodes within 50 meters of another node. So yeah guys, that was all of the meta changes. Now let's check out some gameplay changes. Added a 2 minute staging period to the start of the warfare matches. Increased max player level to 500. Bullets no longer fire with perfect accuracy when leaving the sprint animation. Reduced AT gun cost from 100 to 50 supplies. That is an awesome new. Now just like old times, you need only one support to build AT cannon. This change will increase the AT gun usage like it was uh, before update 8. Beautiful. They fixed the voice communication problems. They added a new anti-aliasing option called Community TAA. Changing foliage settings no longer causes bushes to disappear. Lock the ability to edit the engine in a to prevent users disabling grass foliage landscape. So it was a thing. I didn't know it was that popular. Thank you devs. Thank you. Medics now bandage twice as fast as regular infantry. Increased pistol damage at range. Bombing runs and artillery can now do radial damage to enemy trucks. Tanks and all explosives can now destroy both enemy and friendly mines. It's another good change because before you had to call an engineer so he can dismantle the mine but now you can just throw a nade at it and yeah simple solution satchel charge icon has been changed from white to red looks like someone is watching my videos thank you devs we have new death sound effects and yeah these were the most important changes in this new update which change you liked and disliked most in this new update you can type it in a comment section my favorite one was definitely the at gun supply requirements and also how we can destroy a mine with the nade now and the change i hate most is the spectator camera because they only add it as an admin tool wish it was publicly available now all these changes are not game breaking and decent a few months ago devs also announced eastern front is coming and recently they started to share images about the process of the making this new campaign. They already shared some uniforms belongs to Soviets. I'm planning to do a video about this topic in near future. So please subscribe to stay tuned. But that's it for today. I'm gonna see you in Battlefield. Peace out.